Sometimes it is good to go into things blind and with this one I most certainly am because I have no idea what this show is about other than it being fantasy and Ben Barnes is in it. That's my entire knowledge about this show so <laughs> let's see how it goes. Hey no Ranger the comic here right now we're just going to be reacting to this trailer for Shadow and Bone. Now I know this show is actually already out. I know people have been binging it. I'm not a binger myself. I like to take my time with the content I watch. That's just me. We're all different. People can do it whatever way they want. But as I said there, I have no clue as to what this show is about. Dark fantasy. Also, Prince Caspian is in it, and I'm a big fan of Ben Barnes. I like me some Ben Barnes. He was very good in The Punisher. Pretty much solid in everything he does. So let's get to this trailer. Let's go. Is that a pirate ship? No, there's a demon straight away. All right. You're safe. Tell me what happened in the fort. What saved you? You won't believe me, but this was a sun summoner. A sun summoner. Is this true? Can you summon light? She's real. Our enemies are threatened by your mere existence. The whole world will be after you. The prize is one million Kruger. Bring me Alina Starkov. Am I a prisoner? All of Ravka is. Until you and I enter the fold and destroy it from within. So no pressure. Everyone is looking at me like I'm the answer. Bring the light. Oh, she's in it. Okay. Again. The only she's being trained. More powerful than you or me. The two of us. Together. Is he darkness? Is that why? Good girl. Now the work begins. Wrong. I'll find my way back to you. How many bullets do you have? Not enough. She'll realize she has only one equal. Yeah, no that's what I said. Good, and there never will be. You have no idea how much larger a role you have to play. Huh. I'll be fair. I think the trailer was actually good. I think the logo is unfortunately trash, but you can't have it all, I guess. I did say as soon as the Ben Barnes situation comes up and he's like, this woman has like the power of light in her, he's obviously like the darkness. And it seems to be that is indeed the case. So there's a lot of elemental magic going on here to do with light, darkness. There's probably like a water bender, essentially a fire bender. There was in this trailer here, potentially an earth bender. So they're really going with that string of magic, which I think is cool. I think it's been out of the limelight for a little bit now. So it might be having a bit of a comeback here. Uh, I'm not sure about the lead character though, because there seemed to be quite a lot of Russian influence in one particular scene. And her name seemed to have been... Was it Starkov? Alina Starkov? I'm not sure. But my girl is not looking the Rusi. She's not looking Russian. I mean, what does looking Russian really mean? There are like East Asian looking Russians because the border Russia has with Mongolia and like it kinda, it kinda makes sense, I guess. You know what? She could be Russian. The name throws it off. But she could be Russian. I suppose when you just think around a problem, you kind of find a solution one way or another. And I think they may have done it there. But the demon dragon things look cool. This place called the Fold might be this interdimensional warp zone where Ben Barnes is trying to... I don't know what he's trying to do. Is he trying to destroy it? Maybe he's trying to get the light and darkness to come together and then they can erupt the world from the inside out. I don't know. 
I don't know what he wants to do. Does he want to do necessarily bad things? Does he want to do good things? I don't know. Maybe the, the darkness isn't necessarily bad. It used to always be darkness means bad. Sometimes darkness doesn't mean bad. Sometimes there can be too much light. If you remember in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, throwing it back to the good old days there, there was a season where the light was the evil side and the darkness was trying to like balance itself out with the light, which was an interesting concept for me to watch as a kid. But now watching as you grow up, you kind of understand the way that there needs to be some type of balance. The balance in the force, I get it. Maybe he's not a bad guy. He comes off a little villainous, right? A little sketchy, but he's so handsome that you kind of just like... Is he really bad? Is he really bad? I don't know. Um, but yeah, good trailer. Maybe I will check this one out. More so than that other show I watched the other day, Jupiter's Legacy. Yeah, that trailer looked like it didn't get me going. This one at least had some elements that were good. Can we really ask for more than that? I, I don't think so. Anyway, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then the Punisher are gonna come after you. Ben Barnes, obviously associated Punisher. Punisher maybe being rolled back into the MCU, we don't know. All right, but Ben Barnes was in that show. Punisher, John Burnthorpe gonna do it. You don't want him coming after you, nah. You really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been Graham. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 1,000 days now. We ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Shitty context with hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also bring the Pagwas. Pagwas means nonsense in Punjabi. And we also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little. Do a lot. Do a little. But we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow. More of the same but slightly different. But essentially the very same. Once more. See you there. Skadoosh.